So far, Marcus has had all the fun in demonstrating our new alternator. So I thought I would do a couple demonstrations of my own. This is the alt I'll be using. It's a prototype of our final product. Not quite as good and definitely not as pretty. The first test load I'll be using is a 12 volt halogen light bulb. This is a terrible test load for this alt because the alt is a high voltage, high impedance alternator and this is a low impedance load. Basically for every watt that I get into the load, uh, four get wasted in the stator and I have to pay the price at the crank for all those watts. This is two bulbs in series and this is a slightly better match. Basically for every watt that I put into the vent, this load I only lose two in the stator. Three bulbs in series is yet a better match and interestingly it's about the same amount of effort to crank as one bulb. Finally, four bulbs in series is actually pretty much a matched load for the alternator. Like I said, this is the high voltage wine version of this alt. And it puts out about 37 volts DC if you rectify it for every 100 RPM. So in theory, if I rotate it uh, fast enough, I could get close to 100 volts and light a 100 volt uh, fluorescent light bulb. Let's give it a try. Okay, what I've done is put a bolt in one of the inner holes, kind of as a makeshift handle. I've taken one phase pair out and run it to a 100 watt compact fluorescent bulb. Now let's start turning this. And the bulb is heating up now. I'm trying to get to the point where the gas conducts. There we go. Once it hits full brightness, then it's easy to turn again. My next test load is going to be this grid tie inverter. Uh, its input range is 28 volts to 56 volts, and this is pretty much what this alternator was designed to drive. My arm is not the most steady power source there is, um, and uh, peak power tracking inverter sometimes gets fooled into thinking that it's hit, hit the peak power when it happens. For instance, in this run, uh, it's going to take 10 or 11 watts from my arm, but it's come to the conclusion that it can't take any more. This run goes a little better. The uh, converter does actually really peak power tracking and it pushes me to the limit of what I can basically produce with my arm. Uh, it's not that I couldn't turn the crank any faster, it's that it increased the current so much that I couldn't provide the torque to keep the speed the same. And you'll see that it maxes out at about 30 watts. That's not bad for arm strength. Okay, so now that you're laughing at how out of shape I am, I've got one last trick. What I've done here is wired back-to-back -back LEDs across each of the three phases. And as I slowly rotate the alternator, you can see each of the three phases light an LED. Now, an LED lights at about 1.2 volts and maybe 5 milliamps, so it really doesn't take any speed at all to get these things to glow. 